Hey guys, so this is my first Periscope uh, live q and um, This is the first time I've used it, I have no idea what to do. Um, so everyone, it looks like everyone's joining, which is pretty cool. So if you have any questions, fire away. Hello, ArmyWolf857. <laughs> Chick fights rock. Hello. Um, howdy, Noxie. <laughs> hey, everyone. So, I um, got my fight coming up in two weeks. So, you can ask me questions about that. You can ask me questions about anything, really. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I don't have no baby. <laughs> um, who do I want to fight after this chick? I wouldn't mind fighting Faith Van Duen. That'll be a good fight. Uh, fight International Fight Week. That'll be cool for that fight. I'm pretty excited to come to the states. Um, it was my first my first trip over there, so it's pretty cool. Um, hello. Um, I've got my Invicta debut September 12th, so it's two weeks away, uh, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm training, I'm from the Gold Coast, Australia, so um, I'm training here at the moment. I'll be flying out on the 8th. Hello, Jason Fraser. Let's see the guns. <laughs> Um, I don't mind Wolfie Goldberg. Um, I think she's funny. She was funny in those nun movies. Um, what is your... When do you, I fly on the 8th, 8th of September. Uh, I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia, which is in Queensland, uh, just south of Brisbane. <laughs> so my, my Aussie accent. I, I hear that. I uh, hear everyone, uh, everyone loves it. <laughs> What's my favourite technique in fighting? I like the stand up, I like punching people in the face. <laughs> um, I didn't play any sport in high school. I played a bit of, bit of soccer, but that was it. Uh, the, I I'm not too sure. I used to be in the military myself, so <laughs> thank you, Jason. Yes, Sister Act, that was it. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sing Carry On Way Way with Sun again. Um, my fight's in Kansas City, Missouri, um, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, uh, I fly out on the 8th. I'm fighting on the 12th. Tattoos are relatively expensive, but my tattooist is one of my friends who I went to school with, so I get them for cheap, which is awesome. Thank you. Well, you're hearing my, my dad's chickens because he has chickens and they're noisy and I'm scared, like I am so scared of them because I was attacked. I don't know if you guys know, but we have these, like one of our animals over here is an emu, and I was attacked by them when I was younger, and they scared the absolute shit out of me. So like birds, chickens, they, I, I can't, I can't deal with them. <laughs> um, if I move to the US, I'm not too sure. Um, we'll see what happens in the next six months or so. Like it's something I, I definitely am interested in. I look so tall. I'm six foot tall, so yes, I'm tall. Hey, Hawaii. Um, I think it is, but the UFC doesn't have my weight division, so it's not something that I really can look at. Like, you know, I'm looking at Invicta right now, and, you know, if the UFC bring in a 145 division, that would be tops. <laughs> Dana White, do it. Uh... Yep, no, definitely couldn't fight Ronda. She's the weight division below. And yes, Ronda is UFC. Yeah. 
Any more questions? <laughs> yes, keep the likes coming. Um, I have, I still have a bit, bit weight left to cut. Um, I'll do the most of it in the last week. I should brand my hat for for Periscope. <laughs> Emu eggs are huge. I've, I think there's like eight, eight ch normal chicken eggs in an emu egg. It's, it's ridiculous. They're huge and they're scary. They're scary animals. Don't ever, if you come to Australia, don't ever go near emus or cassowaries. They're scary. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, no, there's so many eggs. What do I do besides MMA? Well, I like to eat food, but I can't do that at the moment because I'm cutting weight. Um, I like watching movies, all that kind of stuff. Um, going on my, my thick electric skateboard, which is pretty cool. It's so funny to watch because I'm so uncoordinated and I have no balance whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Yes, <laughs> I'm excited. I, I would actually consider being a pro wrestler. I love the WWE. Uh, what other fighters do I look up to? I, I'm a big Conor McGregor fan. I'm a big... Um, I'm a big Luke Rockholt fan. So there's two people that I, I like their styles and I look up to. So... Yeah, it's so good. Um, I won't. I don't think I'll be fighting in Australia again because I'm signed to Invicta and I'm a three-year contract, so my, all my fights will be be over in the states from now on. Uh, my diet: um, have a small breakfast, I go train, and then come back, have another small meal, then go train, have lunch, go train, have dinner. So pretty much my life is just um, eating sleeping and training at the moment <laughs> thank you from mexico thank you very much bad connection i'm not too sure Um, any more questions? Okay, I'll try and get a better signal. Let's see what I can do. Thanks, guys. So here's my mum. She's cooking. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I caught her off guard. So I'm trying to get a better connection. I can't wait to have my Invicta debut. I'm so excited. Hey, Chicago. Okay, so hopefully we've got a better connection. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't take Luke Rockhold. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> you could say anything to Chris. Um, if I could say anything to Chris Justino. Um, I think she's pretty good. She's she's a good fighter. She's tough. She's been around for a long time. She's she's a bit of a pioneer for the 145 division. So you know, I've um, got nothing but respect for her. <laughs> Hello. 
Brazil. And Texas, hey, what's going on? I hear I hear the barbecue is good in Texas. I want to go there. Um, I, I went down to Boonchu um, a few weeks ago and did some training and sparring down at with, with John Wayne Parr and, and the girls down there, so that was awesome. <laughs> Chicago. Um, I train minimum five hours a day, uh, six days a week at the moment. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, well, after my fight, when I get back, um, no, I'm definitely interested in going down and doing some more stuff with John Wayne Parr at Boonchu and their guys. So, you know, there are a lot of great fighters, so it'll be cool to do. Triangle or Amber Plata. I like both. <laughs> Can't choose. <laughs> I don't think it's your fault. Okay. Yeah, I don't think our internet's as good as your guy, you guys over there. Thank you, Billing Eric. <laughs> I would love to go to Vegas. Um, it's pretty cool. Hi, Mama, Mama Anderson. <laughs> she says hello back. She hates me right now because she's cooking in the kitchen and I ambushed her. <laughs> Any plans to change? Um, maybe, maybe at one point. Um, I did some training with, with him and, and down at Boonchu and, and his fighters quite recently. So when I get back, you know, definitely something I'd be looking at doing some more with. You know, they've got some good fighters there, so. <laughs> I can't wait to... To, to meet everyone in Kansas City. It's going to be awesome. I def definitely will keep keep updating everyone on Twitter. So, no worries there. <sighs> yep. Keep up those hearts here. You. <sighs> Thank you. And Canada. <laughs> um, it doesn't actually get that cold. I think the lowest it gets is like 12 degrees Celsius, like, and that's at night. So, uh, I don't think it gets that cold. Hey, people from Tennessee. Woo! I have really, I don't really know where Tennessee is, so you'll have to, have to show me on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I definitely am looking to get a bonus, either knockout or performance of the night. Uh, d definitely green over Mundine. I can't stand Mundine. Um, I got started, um, I wanted to actually do boxing and instead I went and picked up tickets to an MMA fight, fight night and the coach ended up convincing me to come in and have a trial. So... You know, just went from there. Six months later, I had my first fight. And, you know, a year and a half later, I'm having my Invicta debut. What's my favorite combination? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, but I do like to mix up my hands and, and knees and elbows, so... Look, look, look at that, you know, that might come out on September 12th, so. Yeah, look at all those hearts, woo! <laughs> Keep them coming. Awesome. Uh, come and say hey, whether at the at the weigh-ins or at the fights, you know, or um, at any of the media events before, come say hey. <sighs> what would it take to get a date? I don't know. What are you offering? No. Um, I don't really date much. 
it's I'm really focused on my training and fighting, so I have to be someone pretty special. Yeah, it is hard. Um, a lot of people don't understand. Like, it's a lot of hours, a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice to put, you know, that goes into training. So it is hard to find someone that understands that. But, you know, I'm sure one day I might be in a relationship. But at the moment, I'm just focusing on my training. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Um, oh, look at all those hearts, it's incredible. Great! <laughs> yeah, definitely. I can't stand Mundine. Um, I think he just talks too much and Danny Green's way better. Um, who knows? Um, Eva Marie is still kind of, I think she's still kind of learning. Sasha Banks has got some skills. Been watching her on, on Raw and on, um, so on the, on the weekend. So it was good. No, haven't heard anything yet. Fingers crossed. Um, Inside MMA is one of my one of my favorite shows and, and I'm, I, you know, Baz Rutten is one of my favorite fighters of all time. So that would be you know, the coolest thing ever if I got on the show when I'm over there, but, um, fingers crossed and hopefully they get back to us. Yeah, look at all those hearts. It's crazy. Yes, definitely come say hey. We'll take a photo. And, um, definitely. What's your walkout song? Um, I know my walkout song. I'm not, not going to say anything yet. Oh, awesome. I am a fan of Alex Chambers. I'm actually really looking forward to her fight um, against Paige Van Zandt. I hope she hope she does really well. I, I really want her to get the upset. You know, I'm a Paige fan, but Alex is a, is a fellow Aussie girl, and I hope she does well. No, I haven't trained with either of them. I haven't trained with Beck or Alex. No worries. Thanks for coming on and asking questions. <laughs> Have we got any more questions, guys? Uh, taps. I've got a few. Moms. This one here is my favorite. It's like a little graveyard. Don't know if you can see. It's one of my favorite taps. It's pretty cool. Would I ever consider putting wild color streaks on my hair? Yeah, I'd consider it. <laughs> Norris, thank you. Thanks for coming on and asking questions. <laughs> it's all your work black and grey yeah um, I don't really have any colours the only colour I've got is one behind my ear um, and it's just blue but I'm more of a I'm a grey wash person um, Not a, I like colour tattoos but just not on me so yeah
Can I surf? No, I can't. And I have a fear of sharks, so there is no way I'm going in to the ocean because Australia is like a death trap. We have sharks everywhere and all our animals are poisonous and venomous and they try and kill you. So, no. Our country is just deadly. Don't come here. But come here because it's such a beautiful country. Um, I don't want to see that fight again. I don't want to see Misha and Rhonda a third time. She beat her twice. Um, I think, I think Misha versus Chris Cyborg at 140 would be an action, would be a, a better fight for her. And I think they could almost co-main event, main event for that fight because everyone will watch that fight. Who did my tattoos? One of my best, well, one of my good friends from school, Zach. Um, you can follow on. Follow him on Instagram, ZBanger. So go see him. Check him out. He's awesome. Talk about my tattoos. Well, my first tattoo was um, on my foot. It was my star sign. Um, I've got a tattoo behind my ear. Our favorite female UFC band of weight, Ronda Rousey. Definitely, hands down. Got to give it off to that girl. She's a beast and I love her. No worries. Anytime. Graveyard nice, yeah. <laughs> Tanya or Penny? I think Tanya's going to win. I think she's just on another level. And Pat, I don't think Penny's fought someone at that caliber yet. But, you know, who knows? We'll see. Um, yeah, definitely would consider moving to the US. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next six months. So... What does your hat say? My hat says Fick Electric Division. Check them out. They have awesome hats, sunglasses, electric skateboards. So check them out. Who do you follow in footy as in the NRL? NRL, I follow Brisbane Broncos. So what is the one I want to answer? knocks you out sorry i think i missed your question yeah <laughs> i like them they're like they're kind of like crocodiles. They're cool because they're badass, but they scare the shit out of me because they could kill me with like a bite. Way in costume. That is a top secret. I have a pretty cool idea and I think you all are going to love it. So you'll have to wait till September 11th and you'll see the way in on UFC Fight Pass. How much you weigh now? I weigh, I weigh something. Who called you to tell you you would debut it? Um, it was a culmination. I think Julie spoke to one of my managers, Scott, and Scott told me so. Um, that you know, Julie came to him with a with a match. We said yes, and then we had to wait for for her to agree to the fight took her took her a bit to um accept the fight but you know it's on now <laughs> I've still I've still got a bit of weight to go so you know, but I'll, I always make the weight, so it's not an issue. I've, I've also cut a lot of weight too, so far. <laughs> um, what camps would I consider? Um, I know Glory MMA and Fitness is really good. Um, American Top Team, Alpha Male, 
Jackson's MMA. There are so many amazing camps over there. Uh, you know, really depends on who I want to train with, I guess, and and who's who's going to be best for me as an athlete. So, yeah, it's um definitely uh, definitely a tough decision, but um we'll see what happens. Uh, how did the honors sponsorship come about and did you get to speak to all directly? Um, that came out through my, my managers, um, Adam, Adam set that up and, um, thanks to them. It, you know, it was awesome. Um, on it's such an amazing company and they have such amazing supplements and gear and, and training equipment and, you know, I'm, pr I'm pretty, pretty proud to be aligned with one of the best companies in the world so yeah <laughs> um you can see the fight in australia on ufc fight past um so if you've got a subscription you can just go in and sign if not you can get a seven day free trial so um i don't hear i don't hear that hardly ever um <laughs> you all think we sound all all bogan and stuff but you know a lot of we don't don't really, don't really hear a lot of those slang sayings a lot. Um, I like both boxing and and Muay Thai. I like, I prefer the the footwork and head movement from boxing, but um, I do like knees and elbows and the the kicking aspect from Muay Thai. So I think I'm a bit of a combination of both, but it really just depends on on what I feel like doing at the time. So. Favorite boxer? <laughs> I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan, definitely. And I agree, chick fights rock. It was I, I watched that fight and and it was awesome. Favorite food? Oh, I don't know. It's such a tough question, particularly when you're cutting weight, because all food is amazing. Um, I'm a big fan of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, um, I love barbecues, I love steak, it's awesome, it's one of my favourites, um, but yeah. My fighting style, definitely a stand-up fighter. Um. I like, I like punching people in the face. What can I say? I'm a fighter. Um, but I'm also, you know, I don't mind being in the clinch. Um, a lot of people don't realize, like, I, I have quite a good ground game, but because none of my fights have ever been to the ground, um, no one really knows that. So um, I think I think Cindy's going to try and take it to the ground, but it's just not going to happen. If it does, it's because I'm going to have a hitter there, and then I'll beat her on the ground. Um, I'm flying in on the 8th this time. Like I would like, I would have liked to go there a bit earlier, but we haven't been able to this time. So hopefully next time, um, we will go again on that judo. Um, I like my judo, got to like my hip toss. So <laughs> maybe I'll pull that out in the fight. Maybe I won't. You'll just have to see. Yeah, oh, look at all those hearts. It's going crazy. Good grappler. Yep, I'm a good grappler. I don't know. <laughs> what else do you say to that, I guess? Oh, it's going crazy. Thank you, Kaylin Tiller. I um I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to fight. Yeah, I usually say I'm a shit grappler, so <laughs> uh, oh well. I, I guess we've all got our strengths and weaknesses.
Can I follow back? Sure. When I'm I'm off here, I'll follow you back for sure. What percentage of my training involves jujitsu? Um, I try and make everything like you know. I make sure I equally um, do everything. Like I don't try and you know. I if I'm a stand up fighter, my grappling's still got to be on point because you know my point. My opponent's going to try and take me to the ground. So there's not one thing that you got to leave behind. So I try and equally um, give as much attention to each area than is needed. I don't think they will. Um, it would cost too much to fly everyone to Australia, so I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely. I like I like the stand-up fights where they just stand up and, and fight, hit each other. No, None of this grinding wrestling. You know, just stand and punch people in the face. <laughs> Cardio. What about cardio? I hate running. <laughs> it's definitely not one of my favourite pastimes. Um, what is my team like? Um, no, I don't train with a lot of other women. I mainly train with guys um, uh, from flyweights to up to lightweights and few welterweights. So um, it's mainly with guys, but and it's hard because there are some girls to train with, but they're just such, you know, they're a lot of smaller divisions, so I can't really, you know, it's not, not really fair, I guess, on either of us because I can't, they can't really push me and, you know, I don't want to muscle too much on them. So I mainly train with the guys, but I think that's a good thing. You know, if I can keep up with the guys and I'm as fast as the guys, then you know, I'm going to be faster than any girl that I'm ever going to fight. So I take it as a positive. train with one fighter Jesus um I don't know that's a tough question never really thought about it um any of the greats like Randy Couture Baz Rutten um any of them like uh, Chuck Liddell I think just the opportunity to learn off any of them is invaluable they have so much experience so much knowledge I think Anyone who's been on that level and and top quality, I think you can't you can't learn enough from them. So yeah. Uh, what's the weirdest question I've ever been asked on social media? Um, <laughs> if I have like, I've been asked, um, I've had a few marriage proposals, which was a bit weird, <laughs> but uh, so that's probably one of the weirdest questions. You look strong. Thank you. I'm um, feeling pretty strong, feeling really good, sharp. So, yeah. What else about her? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's... Oh, well. You're all going to see me in the way in. So, oh, well. <laughs> uh, I try to, you know, I try to. Make sure everything I post is is tasteful, so try not to do anything too controversial or too too nasty. So yeah, I like technical striking as well. Um, I think it's it's awesome when you see two fighters who um, their stand up is just on point. I think there's nothing better. They're tagging each other, and really, it's just who's 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 got who's got more heart. I guess I think that's it's one of the best things. When you, when you get a fight like that. 
Uh, no, blood doesn't ever gross me out the cage. One time, um, halfway through the fight, my opponent's eye started going like bloodshot and it freaked me out because I've never seen anything like that before. And I was just looking at her eye and I was just like, holy shit, what is going on? But uh, yeah, uh, blood, not so much. It doesn't really bother me. Any more questions, guys? Can't wait to see your fight. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Um, there are organisations that do. Um, but I don't think soccer kicks should be allowed. I'd welcome a brown uh, ground battle. Don't think she did that well. She got submitted. You know, she's supposed to be a jiu-jitsu fighter. She likes being on the ground, yet she got submitted. So, you know, wasn't wasn't too impressed with that fight, actually. Um, her takedowns weren't, weren't the best, but, you know, we'll see what she brings this time. I don't have a ring name. Um, I don't have one yet. So, um, we'll see if one comes up, but I'm happy not having a ring, a ring name so far. Megatron. No, definitely not. I'm not a fan of Megatron. Megatron. Yeah, I've heard Cindy's a nice person too. Um, you know, I'm sure after the fight we'll we'll talk, but you know, I'm focused on getting in there and, and absolutely destroying her, so Yeah I am, Gaston Reno. <laughs> Damn straight. Um, I thought it, uh, the, the do nothing bitch campaign, I like it. Um, I do also like how Rose Nama, Nama Yunus, I think you pronounce it, how she said, you know, don't judge what other people do with their lives. So, you know, I think each to their own. Um, I think as long as you're nice to people and you respect people and, um, I think that's, that's all you can do, you know, be nice, be a nice person and you know, good things will happen to you. So I think she did well catch, for, you know, marketing it for herself. So, you know, good on her. Favorite superhero movie. Mm. I like the Avengers because there are so many of my favorite superheroes in the one movie. So Marvel or DC, definitely Marvel. They've got way, you know, I like DC, but way better superheroes in Marvel. Wolverine, yep, Wolverine's cool. And Hugh Jackman is an Australian, so pretty badass Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it... I don't think it's judgy, but... I think, um, I think a lot of people can take it that way, but I think people just got to stop being soft, stop being so fragile. You know, if you're going to put controversial things up, people aren't going to like it. You know, everyone has going to have their own opinion and, you know, who knows? Would you ever fight at 135 or 155? Uh, couldn't, couldn't drop to 135. There's no way I can drop an, an extra 10 pounds. Um, 155, I haven't really been that, I haven't really looked at 155 too much. I think I'd stay at 145. What was your favorite martial art technique? Um, hmm, boxing. I like boxing. I love, I just love the footwork, the head movement, just the angles. I think, um, it's just, and yes, face punches, you know. <laughs> You got oh, always the face punches. Thoughts on Amanda Bell. 
Um, I didn't watch her fight against Faith, but I did see it on social media. Um, I don't know. I don't. I haven't really seen much about Amanda Bell. I, of, ah, uh, um, I think because of McGregor's wow factor and his pulling factor, they definitely should main event over Wyvern and Rockhold. I think that's going to be an incredible card to watch. Um, definitely going for McGregor and Rockholt. So, I it's it's going to be an awesome co-main event and main event. I think both both fights are going to be top of the game. So I'm excited to see what happens happens there. Why do I will we see an Invicta belt around your way soon? Um, to your question, Eddie, Esco80, um, one day, hopefully in the next year or so, um, I, I'm not one of those type of people who I have one fight and I demand a title shot. I want to fight everyone in the division. I want to prove to everyone that I'm the number one contender and just get that experience, that cage time. Um, you know, one day I'll, I'll. Maybe fight Cyborg, you know, if she's not around, you know, if she's not around, she's in the UFC by then. So we'll see what happens. I think the 145 division will blow up. I think they're bringing in a lot of new people like myself, um, Lyrock, Marina Shafir, you know, we'll see what happens. I think, I think it just needs a rejuvenation and that's happening and, you know, with girls like us. So I think in the next year or so, hopefully UFC brings in a 145 division and then I think from there it'll just get, get crazy. I think I missed that question about Lyrock and Shafir. So if you want to write that one again. Um, that's a good fight. Dominic Cruz versus T.J. Dillasaw. I cannot pick who to win. I think they're both... That's going to be a phenomenal fight. Uh, why do I enjoy fighting? I like the challenge. Um, I like I like to learn new things. I like being challenged. And, um, you know, I think fighting is just that, that culmination of your will, um, your determination, your hard work. And I think it just showcases... You know, your heart, really. Um, I've used it a few times. I don't really need to use an IV. Um, I probably should, or and I could, but um, we don't really have that much access to it here in Australia, so um, it's not been an issue. I think it will be an issue for a lot of fighters, particularly who cut a lot of weight in that last week. Um, I don't think that um, that's the best way I prefer to do it healthily do it over a long period of time so Aldo will wreck things <laughs> I don't know I think Aldo could be past his time we'll see um what do I think about how quick Librox fight against Varusha ah uh, I watched that fight I wasn't too impressed um you know Librox got some serious hands um, she's not technical though. She, she does swing a bit, but you know, we'll see what she brings in the future. She's, she's still quite new to the sport and I'm sure she's going to improve from there. Um, definitely. I don't think my parents would ever let me get too big for my boots. <laughs> They'll definitely bring me back down to earth. Um, I've got some pretty cool people around me that always keep me grounded. So, and like, I'm not one of those type of people who, who would get to like, you know, too mean or or too cool for people so yeah yeah it is a tough loss um i think i think her loss against bell with the way it, the way it happened um i think that would also play in her mind so you know we'll see how she bounces back thoughts on ben benson henderson officially moving up to welterweight I think it's cool, you know, go up a weight division, see what happens, you know, a fight's a fight. If he wants to move up, good on him. And if he performs, even better. So let's see what happens there. 
because that would be pretty cool. Yeah, well, um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Rena's really doesn't have, have a chin for 145 anymore. Maybe she needs to cut down to 135. No worries. Any more questions, guys? Probably got room for a few more and then I've got to go. No worries, thank you, and um, yeah, come say hey. Uh, what's up for the rest of the day? I've got another podcast soon, um, and training. I visualize my win by KO or TKO in the first round. And no worries, guys. Yeah, this is pretty fun. This is my first first Periscope broadcast. Um, it's pretty cool. I've never done anything like this before, so it's awesome to be able to interact with you guys and you be able to, you know, live see my responses. So hopefully, hopefully you all like them and um, and you all tune in on September twelfth. No worries. Thank you very much, guys. I'm looking forward to my fight too. Be ready for a performance of the night. Definitely, hands down. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, cool. No worries. Come say hey. If if, if any of you are going to be at the event, come say hey. Take photos at the weigh-in post-fight. Um, you know, during the week at any, any press events, um, more than happy to come and say hey. Aussie Rules footy team. Um, I go for the Brisbane Lions. <laughs> yep, going to sleep. <laughs> no worries. Oh, yeah, MMA Roasted. That was funny. Um, haven't done a podcast like that before, so it was awesome. No worries. Um, send me a message on Twitter so I remember. <laughs> no worries. Well, I've got to go, so I've got another another interview to do. Um, so I'll be posting that soon. And um, thank you to everyone for... Um, tuning in, um, supporting me, asking me questions. Hopefully I answered them pretty good and you liked my responses. But um, tune in, UFC Fight Pass, um, weigh-ins on September 11th, um, fights on September 12th. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, um, Megan A underscore MMA, same as on Instagram and on Facebook, uh, Megan Anderson MMA. Um, so... Follow me in there. I'll keep updates. You know, I'll do some more Periscope live event, live podcasts. So, yeah, thanks so much. And uh, see you all on September 12th.